Well, to me, um, it's, a, it's a huge honour, firstly, to be um, invited to take up this role, um, and one that I'm, I'm delighted to do. And to me, I see this role as really a means of interacting more with the UK population, in particular the younger generations, in order to inspire them, hopefully, to get firstly to get involved in science, maths, engineering, and also to educate them into what kind of careers are available in the space industry. And how will you do that? Well, initially, I'll have to do that amongst my training, so it's going to be quite difficult, but I'll do that by hopefully being as approachable as possible, by web-based means, um, by question and answer sessions, etc. Uh, and then, following basic training, if more time allows, then hopefully I'll get back and uh, to, be, to be more interactive with uh, school children. But not everyone can be an astronaut, can they? Absolutely, no. Um, I mean, there's six astronauts, six new astronauts were selected last year by the European Space Agency, but 68,000 um, people in the UK alone have uh, space related uh, careers. Um, so there is a whole wealth of expertise and, and experience within the UK sector, and it's not just about being an astronaut. And what sort of jobs are there then? What other things are there in the UK space sector? Well, it's a whole range of things, ranging from project manager, for example, which doesn't really require any scientific background, to literally being a payload specialist on a communication satellite, for example. Um, so you, you can go from one extreme to the other, whichever sort of fields, be that engineering, be that uh, mathematics, be it chemistry, biology, fluid physics, uh, whatever is your area of passion and speciality, there will be a career for you in the, in the space industry. 